look, winning form is obviously better than losing form. Um, but look, we, we know where we stand. We're still three and three. We're not, you know, we're not running away with it. Um, still a lot of room for improvement, but uh, certainly it's good to have a few wins on the board. Yeah, look, perhaps um, you know, with a new coach coming in, it always does take time. But uh, that might be a little bit of a cop out for just players not playing the way they should play. Um, I think we're starting to gel more as a team now and, and have maybe a bit more confidence in ourselves that yeah we can execute the plan but um yeah look like i said uh we, we know there's still room for improvement but um yeah perhaps it has just taken a little bit of time for the game plan to to really sink in yeah yeah it's fantastic to have him back um it's no secret how good a player he is and uh he's just such a strong leading target um you know when he creates contests like that it just gives our you know smaller uh forwards a chance to to come the ball and, and kick some goals so he's a you know, a very important player for us. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that till after the game. Um, look, I didn't see the incident. Uh, I don't know what, what happened, what, what he was thinking. But um, he is a leader, um, and if he's done that, it's probably a bit silly. But um, look, just to have him back in the side, he's such an important, uh, integral part of this team that um, he's, we really just need to keep him on the track, and, and uh, you know, we need to keep him out there for, for our sake. Uh, your preparation probably stays much the same. It might give you an opportunity to maybe have an extra session, you know, push yourself a little bit and get a bit more run into your legs. But um, eight day turnarounds are great. You know, we take them all year if we could. Um, gives you that extra day to, to recover and and try and uh, get over the effects of a tough game. So um, yeah, no, look, it doesn't change the prep too much. It just gives us uh, an extra an extra day's rest. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of talk about it, but yeah, I guess it does. I mean, if you're playing a standalone kind of game. Um, yeah, I guess it is a bit different and it's a bit unique and um, yes, I don't think any of the players certainly mind it. Um, I know I'm looking forward to it. Um, it would be nice to know, you know, we're the only boys kicking it around. You certainly can't get too far ahead of yourself. Um, consistency is an issue um, and as soon as you start looking three, four, <clears throat> five weeks ahead, I think you're on a big risk of uh, getting pipped. We're playing a very good side this week and a side that will win a lot of games. Um, and if we take them lightly at all, we'll, uh, they'll make us pay. So, look, we're certainly in a better position than it looked like we might be in at this stage after the first three weeks, but um, we can't afford to look that far ahead, so we're just looking to St Kilda. Yeah, absolutely. I think this year is a far more even competition than perhaps it's been. Um, just about any team is capable of beating just about any team, given the right conditions. So. Uh, for us, like I said, because we got off to a poor start, we're very conscious of uh, our attitude um, going forward. We just can't afford to slip up again because to get to where we want to be, we, um, we, we need to win games and we need to play better than we have been playing. And Yeah, I think complacency is a big issue for a lot of teams. Yeah, look, not too bad. Um, <laughs> he was, that was just precautionary, you know. Um, we'd, uh, Jared Cash, who was playing his first game, he knew he was going to come in and crack in. So. To have uh, someone as important as Yaron say he was a little bit tight and a little bit sore, it just uh, it made sense to to look after him and uh, you know make sure he was he was okay moving forward. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so he he's that was just precaution. Yeah, I was. I have been enjoying it. Um, you know, I'm come from a slightly different background. It's still a bit still like a kid at Christmas. You know, it's I just I'm enjoying it too much to to be nervous, and I'm enjoying it too much to. You know, I feel too under pressure, and Mick's been great. Mick's given given me a lot of confidence. Um, just every player in the team now has a role under Mick, and um, mine isn't isn't getting 25 touches. So I don't feel under pressure to to constantly have my hands on the footy. It's just to defend. So that's uh, you know, it's good. It's, I'm feeling confident. A lot of talk about beards in footy. Are you trying to? Um yeah. You involved in some sort of competition with, with anyone in the club? No, I'm not. I just think it looks good. <laughs> no, it's it, they've come back in a big way. Um, mine actually started with my mates back home, and uh, I went back last Christmas, and they're all all rocking a beard. So I said, "Right, yeah, why not?" Beard's back. Beard's back. <laughs>